I want to show you how I plan for back to school with a parent planner because going back to school is kind of stressful. There's a lot of events happening and there's a lot to keep track of. This is a planner that I have in my shop. You can print it out and use it as a binder or you could use it on your iPad with an Apple Pencil and Good Notes. So let me just show you on the iPad. This has 25 pages and I want to show you each page and what you can do with this. Back to school, you have to think about what school supplies you need. Pencils, binders, notebooks. This is a good place to keep track of what you need to buy. Back to school prep. I feel like this takes the most energy out of me. My kids need meds. Prepping for that before school starts takes a lot of coordination and planning. If your kids need an inhaler, you have to check the expiration date. And then if it's expired, then you have to get a refill. And then you have to fill out forms and then turn it to the doctor's office and then take it back and then pick it up from the doctor's office and then bring it to school. It's a whole thing. And this just helps me keep organized like one to three weeks before, one to three days before night before their first day of school. And here's the school schedule. This is good to have for kids who are like in middle school or if they get out at different times. So this is good to keep track of their schedule. Here's the school contact information, like putting the phone number of the school office and whoever, like their counselor, anyone else you need to contact at school, the school nurse. Here's a lunch planner to put down ideas on what to put in their school lunch. And this is like a schedule for like the whole month. So this is one week, second week, third week, fourth week. So this is for coordinating their transportation. You have different people picking them up or if a bus picks them up. Here's the teacher's information. If you have one teacher or multiple teachers, this is the homework tracker. Say they need like a notebook. I would do pen for notebook. Or they need binder. I like. So you could write it in like this. And book supplies, reading log it's for the grades. Important dates. This is important. There's so many events that happen at school. If you have kids at different schools, handy to have this, have two sets of this. Let me show you how to make a copy. So if I want to this, then I go on this one. So I click the plus sign and I add another page. So I made two of them. So if you look, I have two of them right here. So I made a copy of it first. So it's easy to make copies on an iPad if you want to do two of the pages. Here's a calendar of the last six months, which is beginning of school. You can write down your goals, top priorities. And here's the calendar for the next year. This planner also includes a monthly planner. So you can plan out their activities and the events that month and to do's. And then here is a weekly planner. So you could plan by week. After school activities, it's a lot to keep track of after school activities, especially if you have multiple kids. So this helps to organize and keep track of what activity is when and for which kid. So <laughs> this is so handy to have. And then here's their health inf medical information for emergencies. And then here's an overview of the whole year. And this is good for listing the most important events or things that you need to pay attention to. And then here's our exam schedule, the curriculum, parent-teacher meetings, and volunteering info, and notes. Also have a student planner. So you could go here to these four boxes, and you can see an overview of the whole planner. And if you don't like the order, you can want to move this here. You can select this with your finger and drag it. I think you do it with the pencil. There you go. So you could change the order of how you like it. So let's look at the student planner. So this is for kids like elementary age. Here's a weekly goal planner. This is great for them to start practicing creating goals. This is for their class schedule, homework planner. This is great for storing contact information for parents of the students in your class, the classmates. And here's a school supply list for figuring out like what you need to buy for back to school. Reading log is great for them to track what they're reading and when did they start and how long it takes them to read, go through a book. But this is also great for seeing how many books they read in a school year. Here's a time management worksheet. I mean, this is just something they can, this is great for them to start learning how to manage time and what kind of activities they want to fit in their day and the order of importance. Just a very simplified time management worksheet. And school bus information. This is a school morning routine sheet so that it helps them figure out what to do next so they can get ready in the morning without being nudged by you. This is just like a list of what they need to get done before they leave for school. Because mornings are stressful, right? If they can, if you can teach them to do it on their own, it's easier for you. And here's an after school routine 
routine, like put your shoes away in your lunchbox. I'm still training my son to do that. The more he can do, the less I have to do. It makes it easier for you. So this is for their extracurricular activities, like what they do after school. They could track like what's happening each day, if they have karate here or are they doing basketball. And just important dates of events or things happening during the school year. This is an exam timetable for them to track when tests are coming. And then just a simple to-do list, notes. This is a, just a simple daily planner for them with things to do, acts of kindness, fun activities, thing I'm, things I'm grateful for. Just something to reflect back on each day. And here's a study plan for the week. A vocabulary list. This is great for kids still learning words and what they mean. You can use this for gathering suggestions on what they want to eat for lunch or, and snacks so that you don't have to do all the brainstorming. When they have input on what to eat for lunch, they're more likely to eat it. And here's the school reflections. This is great for looking back on the school year and look what was the best part of the school year, my proudest achievements, things I need help with. So just a great reflection. This is just a great way to look back on the school year and remember the best parts or things I need to work on. So this is a project planner. It's great for like those projects that take a couple weeks to do. It's great for tracking like what materials you need to buy and what things you need to do to complete the assignment. And there's a couple of this in elementary school a lot of this happens so it's great to plan it out on paper or on the sheet so that you can break it down and get it done here's the school event sheet and this is great for tracking all the events that happen at school there's so many events especially during the beginning of school year and it's great to look ahead and see what is coming up so you're not surprised and be prepared for them and this is just a list of encouraging quotes for them to reflect on. And here's the last page. It's just a fun page for ideas or sketching. So I hope you got ideas on how to plan for back to school. And so you can check out my planners in my shop in the link in the description below. I have a parent planner as well as a student planner or just use this to get ideas on how to make your own planner for back to school. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below and see you next time.